In less than two weeks, the once in a lifetime solar eclipse will give scientists the opportunity to study a portion of the sun they normally can't. WRTV's Meredith Hackler shows us how students across the state will play a role in this important research. This map shows how long it has been in each part of the state since a total solar eclipse has happened. So there hasn't been a total eclipse in Indianapolis in more than 800 years. Uh, and so it is really a big deal to have uh, such an amazing celestial event happen right in our backyard. Obviously since then, technology and what we know about space and the sun has evolved. During the upcoming solar eclipse, scientists will be able to study a portion of the sun they normally can't. For the first time, we will be studying the outer layers of the sun, the corona, and we'll be studying it in, in polarized light. 35 teams of students across the country and right here in Indiana will spread out along the path of totality and make a movie of the eclipse with a special telescope they've all been trained to use. I've been super interested in space and the stars since I was a little kid around six years old. Kira Bosch is one of the students that will be studying the sun on the day of the solar eclipse. What I'm looking forward to the most of this project project is being able to work with uh, so many other people and also being able to study something that I haven't had the opportunity to study. Once the images are taken from multiple parts of the country, it will equal out to about an hour long video. That video is something scientists say can be beneficial for solar flares, which in some cases have the potential to interfere with telecommunication and satellites. If we can predict when these solar flares might happen, these dangerous solar flares, for example, then that will help us prepare better uh, for the event. In Indianapolis, Meredith Hackler, WRTV. Totality, which is when the moon lines up perfectly between the Earth and sun, is expected to be about four minutes long right here in central Indiana. The total solar eclipse is on April 8th.